I would like to say you about policy paralysis. Actually, after 1989, no government formed with uh, full majority. Almost all governments which are formed after 1989 are coalition governments. They formed a government with the support of other parties. At, at this, when they are forming a coalition government, they cannot take their own decisions. If they want to take any decision, they need to take the support of other parties who helped them in forming the coalition government. If the parties did not like that, uh, you know, they did not like that policy, then the policy, these uh, political parties may withdraw their support to this party. And as a result, that uh, party uh, may lose uh, forming a government or coalition government may, may be destroyed. And so this is the reason why it is called policy paralysis because many parties together combined and formed a coalition government. If these political parties which are part of a coalition government, in coalition government no doubt one party is a major party which own majority of seats and for forming of government it took the help of other parties. So sometimes what happens, you know, we have seen in Karnataka. In Karnataka, if you take uh, J.D.O. Kumar Swam party, initially joined hands with uh, Congress party. After that, uh, some MLAs jumped into BJP uh, because of some policy matters. Then the government was uh, collapsed. And uh, again, BJP government, it was supported by J.D.U. MLAs and BJP government came into uh, power. This is the reason. You see, coalition government are not stable government, are not stable in nature. That is the, that is the reason why Every time people need to elect a government by giving majority of six. If they don't give majority of six, this kind of things happen. Uh, we have seen uh, in the past of Satel Bihari Vajpayee, uh, if he, he gets the support of one MP, he can form the government. But he did not uh, bribe that MLA or he did, not, uh, he, he did not buy that MP or he did not ask for the support of that MP and uh, he did not form the government. Coalition governments are not at all uh, helpful to us. So, so uh, not helpful to us in the sense, government cannot take uh, bold decisions. They may be helpful, but government cannot take uh, bold decisions. So this kind of situation is called policy paralysis. My dear students, I repeat once again, normally if you have one party in, in power, then that party can take uh, bold decisions. In the case of coalition government, they cannot take any bold decisions. I hope you understand this is a very important question. It is going to come in the public examination. It is nothing but policy paralysis. Thank you.